quarter to six, we're on our way. Um, still reasonably dark as you can see. We've got a bit of wind going on, which is a bit of a worry because we're spending a half the day up some, up some heights. But it looks like there's a little bit of cloud cover, so that's a bit of a bonus. Noticing all the spiders' webs as we've been walking. Some of them are pretty big. This one here is the biggest, if you can see it. It goes between that tree and that tree and this tree. And if anyone's read or seen The Hobbit, they'll know what I'm talking about. Decent old grind in the valley floor down there. Plenty of switchbacks, whereas the TA would have just thrown it straight up the hill. There's a lot in the distance. Came up. There's Matt Giles. I believe we're going over that cap over there. We're going to get down there first. But it's all just so big. And we're coming up the, off the back of the lookout. Switch backing away down to the floor down there somewhere. Alright, just packing up. Just had some lunch. We've got about 13k to go. And we're going to be okay for water, but we can't go crazy with it. And we stop just here in the shade to have some lunch. We didn't know when was the last, next time we'd have something semi-comfortable with shade, so that was it. And now we're on our way up this creek bed to the broken waterfall, waterfall without water. So, a rock. Our way all the way up that valley. This saddle down to this one. I think just over there is where we cut right. Right. So we just split our last two liters of water between the two of us. We've got about nine k to go. It's pretty hot, to be honest. Um, I think if we had one more litre, we would have been a lot more comfortable. You know, what we've got will get us to serpentine, but just that extra litre would have meant that. So we could have had a couple of good drinks. Um, the ironic thing is that we actually have an extra litre storage and we should have used it. Neither of us thought to use it. And, uh, last surge now, probably two and a half hours to go. Hottest part of the day, not a cloud in the sky. Crazy views. So we're umming and ahhing whether we get to come because there was fires right up until the week before open. So I guess this is part of it. burn area. Elkie looks okay, she's thirsty but I'm absolutely wrecked. Got just under 4k to go so less than an hour. I'm hoping to get some shade at some point for a rest but I don't think that's going to happen. This is bloody tough. No freaking lying. This is us taking a bit of a break. Tony's knackered. We're about 27k in and it's bloody hot. Just hiding out in the shade. 
How do you feel? Uh, I had a fork ever be in me. Here we are at Serpentine Dam. Just a bit of rundown from today. Um, about 2k out, Ilki ran out of water. Um, and about 5k out, I ran out of energy. Um, so we managed to... We managed to struggle into camp at Serpentine Chalet and there was four guys from WA who sprung into action and um, really looked after me. I wasn't in a good state. I um, was probably on the verge of heat exhaustion. So they looked after us pretty well with some water and electrolytes and that kind of thing and fussed over me, which was quite embarrassing. Feeling much better now. Um, we'll see how we go. And we're going to Go for a swim in here and then cool my temperature a bit. Just coming back down from the dam. Just scrambling through this gorge. That was absolutely amazing. So cold compared to what we had today. So apparently we got a forecast this morning that said 31. Um, the guys we were with said the temperature's got up to 35 on their forecast. And the next couple of days are at 36 and 37 before cooling down. So we're just going to have to adjust our plans to what fits. We don't want to get ourselves in trouble again. So we'll just roll with the punches. But in the meantime, Pretty spectacular country. Harsh but spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> 